Hey, what up, buddy bags? Um, back with another random week. Uh, I got something interesting. This is a movie I picked up recently when I was in Quebec. This is actually a Quebec movie, a movie like made in Quebec. The movie's called Death Dive, but it's also called I. I don't even want to try to pronounce this. Um, La Scafa Scafandrier. I, I don't know. Basic plot of this movie is uh, they find a ghost ship out in like the the lakes, and um, everybody's dead on it. So they, you know, they're investigating it and stuff happens. But in the meantime, artifacts that was have been taken off of this wreck because this ship was out there searching for, uh, you know, like a, a wrecked ship, and they're taking artifacts off. Um, they're being essentially taken back by, like, this dude. Like, a dude in, like, one of the old, like, like 1800s type uh, scuba gear. So, like, a big, like, 50-pound helmet and everything. And he's just going in. He's, like, ripping people to pieces. That's one thing. This, this movie's got some damn good gore. It really does. Um... It follows this uh, reporter as she goes. She's going around trying to f like figure out what's going on, and um, it quickly becomes evident there's something more supernatural in all this. Um, I'll leave it there for the for the synopsis. I'll I'll leave it there. I don't I don't want to spoil it. Uh, this movie is really interesting. It's just in French with uh, subtitles. I don't know if there's a U.S. release of this movie. I have no clue. But if there isn't, someone needs to get on this. Because this is damn good. The only thing I can complain about is there's a scene in this movie with a guy that's on a submarine. And it's very obviously like, a model submarine that's been filmed. I mean, I wish someone had given these people maybe, like, a thousand dollars and just said, you know what, buy some some stock footage of a sub and just make that, and do that, because I don't, it, it just looks a bit weird. And there is a scene at the end, I'm not going to get into all of it, but you end up with some zombies. And, uh, you know, they're the typical gut-munching zombies. I kind of wish that they'd gone in a somewhat different direction. The rest of the movie has been pretty much kind of like The Fog. And then at the end you have, like, these gut-munchers. And it's cool. The effects are good. You know, the, the designs of the zombies look good. But I kind of wish they'd stuck with, like, the, the fog-type aspect, you know? Um... All in all, though, really solid film. It's a film that, well, I, ne I never hear anyone talking about this, honestly. And like I said, I don't even know if there's an American release of it. But I would, I would definitely recommend it. If you find a copy to um, pick it up and give this one shot, I'll show you the... There's an alternate cover as well, which is... That's the alternate cover. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah. Uh, if if you can find a copy, I definitely recommend it. It's worth watching. It's a good flick. Um, acting seems pretty solid all the way through. I've always said with... Um, when it comes to films in another language... I find sometimes that the acting to be a bit hard for me to determine how it is, but it seems decent. The effects are good. All in all, it's like a solid, you know, eight and a half out of ten. So take that for what you will. So that's my review. Le Scaphandrier Death Dive. It's there. So, And you know what? I'll do just for the hell of it. There's the barcode, if you, if it will ever focus. Come on, you bastard. Uh, 
So if uh, you're looking for it on Amazon, you can search that. And maybe maybe you'll find a copy. Definitely worth it though. Good movie. So yeah, that's it for me. See you next time.